Hi everyone, my name is Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm showing you what's probably the most popular travel trailer in America, and that's due to retail sales. It's by the most or the best selling brand in America, the Forest River Cherokee Gray Wolf, and this is their top produced model. It offers so much, it's great for the family, it's easy to tow, weighing just over 6,000 pounds. It's more of a mid profile travel trailer, so it cuts the wind real well. And well, let's just take a look at it and get off my face and onto the trailer. This is the 26 DBH 2021 Forest River Gray Wolf. Again, Forest River Gray Wolf 26 DBH. This is the all new 2021 model. A lot to talk about here. So let's just get started. Has the aerodynamic front end. Standard feature, cuts the wind really nice. When the delivery drivers bring these to us, they say uh, when driving a thousand miles with these, they save a tank of fuel compared to uh, the boxier front end. So it's going to cut the wind really nice. Also, it comes standard. You can just see the tip of it there. It's a 50 watt solar panel that's mounted to the roof. That's part of what they call the juice package. When you look at the MSRP build sheet, you'll see a juice package, and that's one part of the 50 watt solar panel. Comes standard with the power tongue jack, and they've done a couple cool things to organize what's going on up here. They've added the seven pin uh, coupler there to just to place the seven pin when you're not using it, and also the chain uh, spot to hook the chains up there. So typically you drop them in there, they get all tangled up. So that's nice to keep it nice and easy and organized. That's new for 2021. Power tongue jack has a light on it and a manual override two propane bottles we fill them up here at the store a lot of dealers call that prep and they try to charge you for it right we don't charge that and that's part of the prep that's not all of it uh, we go through all the systems to make sure everything's working again we don't charge you for that another part of the juice package is this battery that's underneath this case here is a 27 series battery which is larger than what's typically found in our rv which is a 24 has an adjustable uh, power tongue jack here. You can see I've got it adjusted down. You simply pull this pin here and you can adjust it higher or lower. So no need for four by four blocks and things of that sort. Diamond plate rock guard is gonna protect the front end of this from any debris coming up from the road. I always like to paint out the ex or paint out, point out the exterior paint on this trailer. That is actual paint on the metal here. So what you get here is a fully painted exterior with very minimal graphics on it. Uh, what happens with graphics on this metal sided uh, trailers is they like to fade and fall off and they just don't stick very well and they definitely don't look good after a couple years. This is your water heater, six gallons, gas or electric, and it's a quick recovery water heater. So again, gas or electric. So if you're at a campground and you've got free electric or maybe you paid for it, you might as well use it. Has a nice slide out here. It's a slid out power mechanism here is the Swintec slide system. This is gonna pull from all four corners for a nice easy, even in and even out. So you don't get that hopping that we're accustomed to with only the bottom drive systems. Working our way back towards the rear of the camper, we have your water fill here. That's like a, you know your well system that goes to your fresh tank and then your city water connection right there. Hot and cold water in your outside shower here. Great spot to wash off your feet and stuff. Uh, you know, with cell phones nowadays, I'd probably keep the clothes on. Have big storage back here. This is gonna be underneath one of those uh, double bunks that we'll find when we go inside. It's gonna be at least four foot across and about six foot long for an idea there. Dump station here. The underbelly on this is fully insulated and covered. That's gonna protect your plumbing and things of that sort. Coming around to the rear, a couple nice options. Comes prepped with a backup monitor. Prep, you can add the camera. Rounded roof, so the water's gonna roll off nice. Standard feature is this tow rack, a uh, travel rack right here. So you can fold that down and you can put extra stuff on there that you need to store, maybe bicycles or coolers or portable generator can fit on that nicely. Also what's mounted to that is the spare tire. Uh, you can check out our website there, but also post some links below. And made right here in America by Americans. Coming through here, two entry doors. The rear entry door is going to be more your secondary entry door. 
goes right to the bathroom. So if you have guests over, maybe hanging out underneath the awning, they can just use the restroom here instead of trekking through your whole trailer. Very nice if someone's sleeping in there. Has a latch here. This is a 1,500 pound latch, so be good for the dog. Uh, but also good to maybe tie down some stuff if you're going away from the campground, lock your bikes up, or maybe a gas grill or something like that. Two axles on this here have radial tires on it. And you think, wow, big deal, Mike. Well, the competition uses bias ply. And if you ever pull with a bias ply tire, you will be investing in radial tires very shortly after. So they're a nicer riding tire and they're going to wear a lot better. Also on all tires, you have your tire pressure monitor. When you see green, you're good to go. So no need to check the tire pressure every time. You can just simply look at it. Outside speakers, those are going to play your radio, AM and FM, and also Bluetooth capabilities. Also, it's prepped for an outside uh, television to hang up here to maybe watch a movie or the big game or the race. You can mount it right there. It comes with the other mount that mounts the back of your TV and slides right on there. Has the appropriate hookup, has your antenna up on the roof for that, for your free TV stations and your electricity. This is cool. So this is a deluxe mini, a deluxe mini camp kitchen that comes standard on this Gray Wolf. And you get a lot in here. You get a little wash basin, two burner gas cooktop, a refrigerator with a little hot, po hot pocket freezer in there, and then an ice maker. You know, you always need ice at the campground. It's nice to have your own ice maker. You can fill it up right here, hot and cold water. We'll go inside just in a second. Sorry for any wind noise. Good storage, it's gonna go all the way up and underneath the queen bed. Power awning, I've got out just a little bit of the way and a blue LED light strip. The blue LED light's really superior for outside because it doesn't attract those bugs, you know, the mosquitoes and all that so bad. Again, this is a 2021 26 DBH by Forest River. Weighs 6,031 pounds. All right, let's check out the inside. So as we walk in, walk into the kitchen and living room box towards the right rear bathroom towards the left rear and as i turn around we have our entertainment system in the center here two sliding doors i have the one on the left closed and the one on the right also has a sliding door i just have it open and that gets to our master bedroom so let's first start out as you walk in the door Here's your command center. Here's how you do everything, right? You can check your levels of your different holding tanks, fresh, gray, and black water. Turn your water pump on, turn your water heater on, turn some lights on, put your awning in and out, and also run your slide in and out. What's beautiful with this system, it's hooked into the LCI One Control system, which is actually an app you can download on your phone, scan this QR code right here, and you're gonna be able to control all these same functions right from an app on your phone. All right, let's start in the kitchen here for some more detail. The kitchen and the Gray Wolf products I really like because there's a lot of light. Not only do you have the natural light coming from the skylight up here, but you have a lot of extra light. They, they've actually overkilled. We've got two pancake lights here, two more under here, which I really appreciate. When you're in the kitchen, you need some light, right? You know, to see what you're doing. The countertop here is going to be the thermal wrapped countertop, which is your seamless edge. There's no seam in this countertop. So that allows them to do this nice stylish countertop. The countertop extenders over the sink, even has these little cutouts here so it doesn't come out when during transit. And that covers up the suck down end barn style stainless steel sink. And it matches perfectly with this high rise stainless steel faucet now it's the black stainless which is going to match all the appliances in this camper they're all black starting with the microwave up here your range vent hood right up here a light in this as well has a decorative backsplash there purposeful you cook like me spaghetti sauce is going to splatter all over that and it's going to be easy to clean up three burner right here this is gas now right high altitude burner right here so that one's going to get a little hotter than those back two and then in the oven here, we have the door, the glass door. And, you know, you have a good spot. You could uh, cook the Thanksgiving turkey in there if you wanted to. Um, right next to that, this is where it's super innovative. This is the 10 cubic foot Furion freezer and refrigerator. So what they've done is they've taken the typical spot that a 6 or 7 cubic foot refrigerator fits. 
and they've put a 10 cubic foot 12 volt matched it with that juice pack that solar panel up on the roof and the bigger battery and this battery disconnect and battery monitor and you get a 12 volt refrigerator it's ingenious it's been out for almost a year now and the customers absolutely love it all right pantry solid door multiple shelves of storage in the pantry here so that's your kitchen across from the kitchen we have the oversized u dinette oh and i do want to point this out it's a bigger dinette so you can actually fit five or six people around there depending on how big the kiddos are and there's a couple cool options the table legs pull out from under it and this table itself will slide on these wood slats and that will make into one bed about the size of a double bed and then for storage You've got these giant pull-out drawers. So typically to get in that storage space underneath the dinette, you have to take apart the cushions and, and all that. This, you just have the big drawer. The shades on these are really nice. Uh, these are zebra blinds, they call them. So you can let a lot of light in or a little bit of light in or no light in. They roll all the way up, roll all the way down. And what's beautiful about these, everyone I've ever touched, they work which can't be said true with all blinds that I've ever touched in RVs. Couch is here. This also folds out like a futon. They call it a jackknife sofa for extra sleeping if needed. Entertainment system here. So the television is going to hang right here. has the same mount we saw outside, inside. And the appropriate hookups. You have your audio video cable. You have your antenna for the roof and your power. Below this, we have our radio, AM, FM, Bluetooth, all right here also has an hdmi input and a usb input so maybe you have some movies on a usb drive you can just plug it in right to there glass inserts on the cabinets here and then below here we have a 31 inch fireplace that doubles as a space heater and then directly below that you see the entry doors right here You've got a spot you can kick off your shoes get them out of the way so no one tripping over them uh, right underneath that all right, again, the master bedroom has two pocket sliding doors uh, to separate it off. And queen bed up here in the master bedroom. So you can walk on either side of the bed. So whether you're sleeping on this side or that side, you can get out without having to roll over whoever you're sleeping next to. And then also on both sides of the bed, you have USB charging stations and 120 volt power. And a nice little nightstand here to you know put the phone or maybe a, you know, a tablet while you're charging. Hanging closet rod on both sides of the bed. And it's really deep where you could put some folding clothes down below. And then the shelf above is finished off with cabinet doors. So that's a nice feature there. Well, this is all new 26 DBH. There's a lot to show on these and a lot of value in the Forest River Gray Wolf line. So I'm going to post links below that has this trailer, current pricing, also some other Gray Wolf. Maybe you don't need bunk beds. They have a lot of cool floor plans. Check them out. The things like the juice pack, the power tongue jack, the power awning, a 10 uh, cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator, that all comes standard in all the Gray Wolfs for 2021. So check out those. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll post links below with available finance options with approved credit, uh, trade-in uh, form you can do right on our website so you can get a value of your trade without having to haul it in here, right? Uh, so if you're just wanting to see, hey, maybe can we trade yet or can't we? That's where you want to start, right on our website. It's very innovative and also very informative. So we are able to put a, a solid number in your trade without again you having to drag it in here so check out those links and as always thanks for watching uh let's have some fun today let's get out let's do something fun and uh, share that with someone around you thanks for watching